good thing. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you spend all your time. On the other hand, this time of year, you catch uh, males who find that their hind foot is bleeding, shredded. So we're going to find seal holes by two methods. One is uh, hopefully by seeing seals, and you probably will. Um, basking on the ice and be able to approach the hole that way. And the other is ones that we don't see, either because the seal's not there or it's too low uh, under the snow drifts, but the dog will detect them. And when he does detect uh, the odor, he'll persevere through that, that tough snow. So I'm going to have to uh, monitor this, and uh, we'll work the dog some, but we may have to uh, curtail it a little bit so that he doesn't hurt himself trying to run through that soft snow. Boy, Cooper. Good boy, Natsik, huh? You find a Natsik? We're, what we're trying to do is figure out if there's a way we can adapt our uh, basking net to uh, close this hole after the seal's resting up here. This is where the seal was lying yesterday. And of course, he has to come out of that hole and crawl up here. Yeah. And the design of this net is to, to actually spring over the hole so that the breathing hole's under here when the seal's resting out of the water. The net will be pulled back over here when it's set. So what we're, he, the ideal situation is he doesn't see the net. It's pulled off to one side of the hole. He crawls out over here and then the net closes behind him. I'm connecting the burn wire here to the uh, radio relay. Eventually the battery is gonna, or the relay will trick the battery and this wire will become very hot and it'll burn the, the uh, fishing wire to set the trap. And then you got to get really tight, Michaela, because it's going to stretch when he l releases and it's going to pull. Do you want me to put it between the washer and the... Not necessarily. The water's not moving anymore. Mm -hmm. okay. I think he left the last right. We were busy setting the trap, tying the net up, and I glanced over in the hole, noticed that the water level was very gradually going up and down. Usually the ice would calm all those elevation fluctuations and you wouldn't see that, so you could tell there's something in there. Then when, after we got pretty quiet, he actually came up, got a little freaked out, and splashed and went down. So I didn't see the seal, but he was definitely splashing around in there, so we know he's down there, hopefully we'll see more of him. Whoops. The innervation at the base of these is about 10 times the density of nerve endings in the whiskers of most uh, carnivores. So they're highly sensitive. And they seem to actually use them in uh, capturing prey. Um, yeah, it seems like they'd be more uh, hydrodynamic without it. Well, certainly that's what the cetaceans have done. And So we have a seal done. hole here where there's a seal out basking in the sun and shedding all of its skin and hair, so shedding its epidermis, which happens annually. We are uh, collecting skin samples from seals and we are extracting DNA from it. And with that DNA, we're trying to look at seal population structure because we know that there are at least a million ring seals throughout the Arctic, but we have no idea if there's one, if that's one large population of seals or if there are multiple populations localized around breeding sites. So this is a female ring seal that was caught just northeast of Point Barrow. It's a juvenile female. I think she's about two to three years old based on um, the annual rings on her claws. Today, um, 
a couple of the researchers were out there and spotted the animal with binoculars and remotely triggered this net to spring and cover the top of her hole so she can go back down into it and get into the water. And so they triggered the net so she was stuck there on the ice and very quickly the two researchers came over, grabbed her, put her in a tote and brought her back into town so that we can fit her up with a satellite transmitter that will be placed on her hind flipper. And I think that the tagging of this seal is going to be pretty significant because in the past oh, we've no. only ever tracked adult seals and we've captured them in their breeding site and then tracked them um, through a consecutive breeding season. And so this will be the first time that we have a juvenile animal. So it'll be interesting to see if her movement throughout the year is different from adults' movements. I'll get a better estimate of her age because I haven't handled her yet and I'll get down there and very closely no. count the rings on her claws. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I'll take a girth measurement. So that's just the circumference around her chest, so underneath her front flippers. And we will take a skin sample and tag her and that's about it.